Hello, this is Onyx Tarot, and today I'm going to be doing a message for Capricorn. So let's go ahead and do, what do Capricorns need to know? What do Capricorns need to know? All right, so we have Child, Despair, Community, and bottom of the deck is Courthouse. Okay, so Capricorns, let's see what we have here. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Um, so the child card in Kipper really stands for, I mean, a literal child, or it could be a new beginning or something that's supposed to be innocent here. Um, let's see what we have here. So the seven of wands. Okay. So we have the seven of wands, queen of swords, reverse, and the two of cups. So there may be some type of discussion um, about some type of new beginnings, some type of partnership, partnership, relationship that's starting, something that's innocent here. Um, you may be in a place where you're kind of close off to negotiating or working with somebody. Um, but this is interesting. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, reverse. Hmm. You may be in some type of contract or uh, relationship here. Like one flipped, but I can't find it. Okay. What is the Ten of Pentacles? Queen of Cups, Reverse, Five of Swords, Reverse. Okay, so there's some type of new beginning here that you're supposed to be having with someone, uh, with a new partnership, with a contract, with somebody that you're dating here. Um, but I feel like there's something about the situation where you're not, I feel like you may not be completely open to it. You're standing your ground towards something. There's supposed to be a new start or there's about to be a new start that starts with a person that you're connecting to or with. Um, this is something long-term. This is somebody you could be in a long-term partnership with, long-term marriage with. But I feel like if you, um, there's something like if you continue to be a little closed off or not working with this person, um, you may miss out on this opportunity or hold, or basically pull some, hold something back, okay? Um, yeah, because I feel like something happened here where you're not really open to this person. Um, or basically you may be a little closed off. You may be protecting your feelings. Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords reverse um, here. Like, But there's a new start that's about to happen. The 18th could be really important. This person is going to be offering you something, um, something stable, okay? And I feel like it's going to be like four days could be important. And making a decision, whatever this decision is, makes or breaks this relationship, Okay, yeah, it's time to do something different. Um, whatever this is, somebody's determined to um, make something permanent with you. Uh, Ten of Cups, exactly. They want something with you. They want long term with you. They want um, happiness with you. Now, we have despair here. So I feel like you're going to be getting a new idea, truth and clarity tied to this situation. Um, things are going to be moving really fast. And I feel like I was just picking this up when I did the love reading for you guys last night. So this is definitely love for a lot of you. Um, but you have a decision. So this person is going to be giving you this choice and decision. And you have a decision whether to accept or whether to free yourself from um, this person and to just be single. Okay. Um, next, you have community here. So you have the full reverse and the high priestess. So again, this is a situation where you have to trust your own intuition. Um, like I said, whatever, it's, it's time to free yourself from other people's thoughts, other people's feelings, other people's um, emotions. I just said that, but you get what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people around you that maybe you seek advice from. Usually, maybe they didn't answer or maybe, you know, basically, you're not, you're supposed to be utilizing your own gut and your own feelings because again this offer for long-term commitment the next step is coming in with you from this person and it's going to be up to you whether things move forward or not i feel like this is somebody you're meant to be with you have the ten of pentacles 
the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands, okay? So this person's going to be offering this in divine timing. And when they do, like I said, it, it could make or break this relationship, okay? Um, bottom of the deck is Courthouse. Justice Reverse, this is what you don't see. Queen of Wands. Hmm. King of Cups Reverse. What is a Justice Reverse? Page of Swords Reverse? There may be a situation that is going on behind the scenes about you and your money or some type of situation that you're leaving behind. This is what you don't see. Um, let's see. Something that, okay, something that somebody thinks is going to happen to you tied to some type of documentation, legalities, argument, disagreement. This is a, something separate. This is what you need to know. That doesn't happen. I feel like somebody wants to t do something, take something, manipulate you out of something. It's a masculine king of cups energy, any gender. And whatever it is, I feel like they end up getting seen for whatever they've done, which I've been picking up on that for you guys as well. So that's what you don't see. The final outcome of this situation is the world in reverse. So again, somebody somebody that's in some type of conflict with you who's doing a lot of things behind the scenes or in front of the scenes or whatever the case king of wands reverse whoever is doing some whoever is creating some type of drama with you no uh first you you still receive something that's owed to you you still get some type of justice from a situation um and i feel like this person's wasting their time also you're protected especially spiritually so i feel like this whoever this other person is and whatever they're trying to stop you from doing is not going to affect you it's really not so when it comes to this new relationship or partnership, you may have some worries or concerns. Um, so it may be important to make a decision about if you want to, you know, accept this person's offer, merge lives together without any fear of whatever else is going on in the background. Because yeah, what you don't see is like this person is a past person is seen for whatever they've done and also, whatever their little plot and plan and ploy is, the, the world reverse and the six of wands reverse. They're going to be very embarrassed. They're going to be very disappointed um, in how something turns out for you uh, because you're going to be successful and you're also protected, especially if this is some type of legalities here. Okay. So a lot of you, again, have some type of major offer coming in and this is going to be really important to, own, to use your own intuition um, because again, you don't. It's like you could be single and move forward, or you could be in something very serious and long-term and long-lasting. So let's go ahead and get some advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. I love how you guys just got a love reading. <laughs> Again, uh, let go unintentionally. Let go. So it's time for you to focus on letting go of the past, letting go of any type of situation that's happened with this person and this person that you are like romantically connecting to in the past, uh, everything is working out in divine timing. Things that are happening, especially in the next four days with this connection is all happening in divine timing. So this is going to be a good time to let go of the past, let go of things that you guys may have disagreed on and really be on the same page to move forward. I feel like you're going to be so pleased and so excited um, with how solid this connection is going to be and also be okay with being in the process of like energetically letting go of a you know hectic situation um where somebody is intentionally doing something um energetically letting it go so you don't carry it with you especially as far as like making decisions to start a life with someone or starting something new or starting a new business Try to let go of the past and also go go towards this person's offer um, that they're about to give you with an open mind that you cannot 
make a mistake. Like there's no mistake here. Go with your gut and go with how you feel um, and go with your intuition. Okay. So feel free to let me know your thoughts. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button, subscribing. Feel free to join me on the Capricorn uh, Patreon where I post all of the extended and exclusive readings. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow.